pathfinding techniques and 3D audio tricks. Creating a navigation mesh with Blender. When creating a game where a character can navigate an environment or an architectural walkthrough, ensuring the character or camera does not walk through a wall or prop is a significant challenge. One of the most common ways to achieve this is to create something that has become known as a navigation mesh. It's effectively a mesh of triangles that simply defines the floor positions where a character can tread. Depending on the size of your character, the mesh will have a gap around walls and obstructions. Creating such a mesh can be done using modeling tools, but there is an automated way to do this using Blender. Unfortunately, Blender 2.8 has removed this facility, so you'll need to download and install an older version, Blender 2.79b. If you would prefer to use Blender 2.8, then you could consider copying your floor area and then using a Boolean modifier with all obstructions as your tool, but this is way more complicated to set up than using 2.79b, so I think it makes more sense to step back to this older version until the Blender team address this issue in the latest version. To find the older versions, simply click the download button in the nav bar and slide down to the previous versions link. There you'll find a link to the Blender 2.79b versions. Choose the option that suits your computer operating system. Once it's downloaded, open it. Now select File User Preferences. A new dialog box opens. In the top bar, select Add-ons. In the sidebar, select Game Engine. Herein lies the problem. The navigation mesh tools are in the Game Engine code, and Blender Game Engine is discontinued. You could use Blender to create a real-time game with a physics engine, but the code base has barely been updated since 2011, and the team decided that it wasn't worth continuing to support it with the 2.8 release. Hopefully the navigation mesh modeling tool will make a comeback. Now open cemetery.blend that you'll find in the resources. You should be looking at an overhead view of a cemetery. To create a navigation mesh you will need to switch to Blender Game as the engine. The drop down is at the top of the screen. Click on the 3D view and press A to select all. Pressing A again will deselect all. Choose the Scene Property panel. Slide down to find the Navigation Mesh panel. When creating, using this panel, the values relate to the units of your meshes. Ideally, your geometry should treat a unit of one as though it is about one meter. Although this is not essential, it does make judging the values to use much easier. Notice that height is set to 2.0. This means that your character is assumed to be around 2 meters tall. If the geometry included areas where there was a low ceiling, the character would be unable to walk there and so the navigation mesh would exclude this area. The setting for maximum climb is the height in meters that your character can walk up. 0.9 meters is rather high but for the geometry in this example it isn't a problem. Radius is how far from an obstruction the navigation mesh will appear. This will ensure your character does not disappear into the wall as they walk near to an obstruction. For this example the defaults will be fine. Press the Build Navigation Mesh button. In a moment a new object is added to the scene. It's called Nav Mesh. Notice that it has gaps around all the objects. This is the mesh we will use to determine the walking area of our character. It will be hidden from view, but coupled with a ray caster, we will check for intersections with the mesh and only allow our character to move to somewhere on the nav mesh object. Before we can use the new geometry in a 3GS project, we'll need to export it. You learnt about exporting from Blender in an earlier video, but that related to Blender 2.8. For Blender 2.79b, there is a slightly different method. First, the GLTF exporter is not added by default. Get the exporter from this address. After extracting the zip, 
copy scripts, add-ons, io underscore scene underscore gltf2 to the scripts add-ons folder of your Blender installation. Then you'll need to go into File User Preferences and choose the add-ons at the top and Import Export in the sidebar. Then slide all the way to the bottom to enable GLTF 2.0 format. Now when you choose File Export GLTF, GLTF 2.0.glb will appear in the options. Choose this. For the export options choose Export All Layers, Convert Z Up to Y Up, Export Texture Coordinates, Normals, Tangents and Colours, Export Materials, choose a folder and file name and press the Export GLTF 2.0 binary button. Save your file as cemetery.glb if you want to match the name used in the next video. For movement we're going to use Don McCurdy's pathfinding code which you'll find at this address. This terrific addition to the 3DS allows the developer to pass a point on a navigation mesh and the code will calculate a path that will get from point A to point B while staying on the navigation mesh throughout. By all means download the repository but the key library file is in the libs folder of the course resources.